Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising monthly tarot reading, December 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can jump right into it. So the first card for the uh, for the month of December for you, which represents the topic of the month, is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the next one here, which stands for the challenges that you will need to overcome. That is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the third one, which stands as the intentions that you should incorporate in your life through, through, uh, throughout the month of December. That will be the Moon card. <clears throat> then the fourth. It regards to the lesson that you need to learn here. We do have the Five of Swords. And then the last card is going to be in regards to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. Uh, that will be the Four card. All right. So quite of a um, interesting one. Okay. So um, the topic, Seven of Swords, uh, it will be catalyzed here by the Six of Pentacles. Ignorance. Is this how you say it? Probably. Well, we do have an active uh, enemies in this particular position. And it looks like that this uh, month for you, it is a, a month where you will try to resist. Okay, try to... Um, I'm saying trying not for everybody, of course, you know, there are going to be those from you that will be able to resist, not just only try. But I'm using the word trying because at the end of the day, guys, I am not here to take away your free will. Some of you may decide that it is, I doesn't, it doesn't do anything good for you resisting. So what is about resisting here? Those two cards are pointing that you throughout the months of, uh, I'm sorry, Throughout the month of December, for some things in your life, you will try to swim against the current. Um, you will try to reshuffle things, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. You are going to, how can I say it? Try to show a, a backbone, a strong backbone. And although in some cases, you may not be exactly right. Well, there is no right or wrong, but let's say <clears throat> that you are going to have exaggerated uh, self-righteousness here. That will be the cause from not letting it go or rather like not swimming with the current and just, you know, 
kind of whatever happens happens so that is the resilience that you're not going to allow things to happen as they are supposed to happen but instead to shape them in the way that you want them to to happen so from that standpoint you can expect that the month is going to be i cannot say stressful but dynamic there will be a lot of situation that you are going to be the storm into those situations what i mean it is that you may wreak quite a lot of havoc in them okay because you you are going to have that standpoint to stand for your personal rights which are going to be dictated from your over exaggerated self righteousness and uh, in this um, particular state you can hurt a lot of people okay with your um, presence for example with your performance with the things you do uh, with your words as well so you got to be careful not to hurt those that you really uh, really love because those two cards are pointing here that the love is going to be put on the very very backstage I mean um, in some cases you may feel that you are very misjudged or rather like mistreated and although you may love the person who mistreated you you still will kind of think that you're gonna feel good if you return reciprocal measures kind of making them feel bad as well <clears throat> okay so the other card here represents the challenges uh, that you need to overcome and that is going to be the tree of pentacles and it is accompanied with the four of pentacles so we do have a passive supporters into the into this position and man, what do you, what do we know? Well, those two cards here are pointing that the challenge itself is going to be you to think in the long term. <clears throat> so returning reciprocal measures toward those you love that you think that they have mistreated you may give you a, a temporary fulfillment in regards to emotional states but what is going to do is undermine the secure future you may have with those people so the challenge here is going to be for you to uh kind of like uh submit or rather uh suppress was the word that i was searching for you know these these nagging um nagging impulses and nagging urges to just be the storm in the situation and instead try to talk peacefully, try to talk uh, with, uh, with those people, with your boss, for example, with your coworkers, with your person of interest, you know, or, or, or friends and family, it doesn't really matter. Try to talk calmly so you can have those really meaningful conversations in attempt to um, adopt rather like a defensive stance in regards to what you have together okay so just to give you an example here you recently fought with um, a boyfriend or a girlfriend it doesn't really matter and despite that you can work the things over um, you kind of have that exaggerated sense of self-righteousness and although you want to do it you show resilience of this wish to do it okay and you don't do it and therefore those um deeply meaningful conversations cannot be established therefore you cannot ensure secure future with this person okay and that's why you gotta let it go i mean it may be hard for you gemini's to do so but you just need to let it go right now and maybe even if you don't feel it that way maybe say i'm sorry okay that 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 is another thing that is gonna help significantly in this um in whatever situation you're finding yourself at. because with those two cards there should be a um a stepping stone for you to to step onto okay and that stepping stone right now does not exist just because of your resilience here that you are showing uh toward those people or toward these situations it doesn't really matter the the, the fact is is that you are isolating yourself according to those cards and you can definitely uh try uh, reverse this uh this state so the next card here uh, that uh, represents the intentions that you will have to overcome is going to be the moon card and uh, it's catalyzed by the knight of um by the knight of pentacles and uh, intentional wise you just have to answer yourself what you truly want i mean what what is that thing that you really want now because we do have the moon core the moon card in this position it means that <clears throat> identifying what you really want or uh 
uh, how do I say, admitting to yourself what you really want does not give you the recipe how you are going to reach it. As a matter of fact, the way how you're going to reach it or how you're going to manifest it is shrouded in mystery. But that is your way, okay? That is a thing that you have consciously chosen. And you should not let go of it because this is the moon card. In the traditional deck, we do have a path that goes beyond the summit. That is your path. You don't know where it leads, but it is your path to walk on. That is the path that you have consciously chosen and you should not let go of that path. So what I do suspect with those two cards is that <clears throat> somewhere in November or at the very end of November, something really bad happens, okay, uh, that's um, made you feel mistreated, made you feel misjust, all right, and right now you're it's not really stubbornness, but more like a resilience is <clears throat> not allowing you to set the, the thing straight. Although it is a thing you want, your ego is preventing you probably to go for it, okay? And uh, that is the intention. You need to identify or place this thing you want on a piadestal or a pinnacle. Piadestal is in my language, pinnacle and do <clears throat> the decisive approach toward it. It has to be slowly made though. With the Knights of Pentacles and the Moon, um, your actions that you will take toward this, uh, this pinnacle needs to be, they, they need to be very meticulously calculated and they need to be supported with a strong determinations as well. So why this is all happening, I mean, <clears throat> What is the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month of uh, December? We do have a Five of Swords with the Page of Swords here. And uh, those two cards are active supporters. And um, I need a minute here, guys. Well, it is, uh, first of all, those two cards are pointing that you need to know your limits. Uh, this is what you are going to learn, that everything has its limits. And uh, <clears throat> that sometimes, uh, how can I say it? Sometimes you have to play by the rules because the rules are limiting you, okay? And you can't go beyond that. It's, it's very difficult to explain it. But um, a lesson learned here, it shows that um, there is always a, a way how you can fix things with those two cards. That, that comes from the Five of Swords, because the Five of Swords, it is a victory at all costs. And uh, that pretty much points that you are going to learn that if you do wish something so bad, you can definitely have it despite of what you have to do sometimes you got to do things that are appearing humiliating to you okay like beg for forgiveness okay or do things like gifting flowers let's say to person whom you hurt for example i never gift a flower because i don't think it's necessary but you know some people find it as well humiliating so <clears throat> literally you know you have to let go of this um state of big ego or rather like a uh, you know resilient state and do here what is necessary in order to save that uh, that situation of yourself with your ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend with colleagues with boss and uh, so on and uh, so forth as well another thing here uh, with those two cards as a lesson learned is that you are going to learn how to follow your um, I don't know that, that that sounds a bit broad, but you're going to learn how to follow your mind in a sense of that. Um, how can I say it? Your mind is way too over. Uh, it's way too cramped with many worries and with many. How can I say it? Um, <clears throat> troubles, troublesome mind. OK. And in this month of December, you're going to learn how to clean most of those things. Like don't allow um, negative thoughts to twist and tangle through your mind because you are finding yourself um, very lost in them and you're going to learn how to clean all that thing. And the last one here, it refers to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. We do have the full card accompanied with the five of uh, the five of cups. We do have an active neutral in this uh, particular position and uh, those energies are definitely talking about a second chance. So those energies will help you to have a second chance in anything 
you go for. Okay, in anything that you find out, it is what you want. It's as simple as that. But um, not only that, a second chance or a second go on a clear foundation. Uh, just to give you an example of it, second chance with uh, with a boyfriend or a girlfriend you have, it this second chance, it will be like you just met, okay? Like you just get to know each other. It's not going to have carry on the previous burdens from the previous relationship or new job that you're going to sign is not going to carry on the previous burdens of that um, of the previous job all right the new job is not going to carry on the previous burdens of the previous job and that is a uh, due the correlation in between um the, the the previous cards we had that you're just going to let go of um you know those kind of concepts of um how do I how, how do I say it? Uh, you're not gonna allow those uh, negative thoughts to twist and tangle through your mind, and as well by identifying, you know, what what you truly want will allow you to let go of the resilience that you are adopting. So that being said, Gemini, this was your monthly tarot reading, December two thousand and nineteen. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other um, next time. Until then, bye.